All of you guys know Good Morning America, right? One of the most popular AM shows. And I don't remember this lady's name, but she's the interviewer. And this is Dr. Kelly Ann something or other. She created this bone broth that a lot of people ask me about. But before we talk about her bone broth, I want you to take a look at what's on this table here. What do you see on here that's a problem? Four meals a day. Problem number one, four meals a day. Wake up here, morning here, afternoon here, and evening. Problem number one, thank you, Ron, for getting the most blatant thing. I don't even care what they're eating at those times. Guys, if you eat four times a day, you will have a problem, not only with your weight, or if you're super good and you just eat what you consider, quote unquote, clean, healthy food, you're going to have a problem with metabolic disease. This is where a lot of doctors who do this course or people that are gym rats who do this course, they don't get that concept. They miss that little nuance and then they end up having problems. So this is where I'm going to reiterate to you guys. Four meals a day is not good. Now, can anyone else pick out what you see wrong with what's on this table? Sugar. Daryl, go ahead and elaborate. Where do you see the sugar? All that fruit. You see fruit oh. there. That's sugar. I see at lunch, I see pineapple there in the morning. Afternoon, I see they've got this, uh, I see a banana there. And in the evening, I see a chocolate shake and sugar, sugar, sugar. Did anyone else want to pick out something else? Because there's something glaring at me that... I have a problem. Ron, go ahead. There's a mixer taking out the fiber instead of your body using the fiber. The fact that there is a blender in this picture, I'm going, oh my gosh, because if she's on camera, number one, most gym rats own a blender. Most gym rats even may own a travel bullet. Do you guys know what that is? Is that cone-shaped thing and they travel with it. I've even seen a model in New York who says she's checking into her five-star hotel because she is a super, quote-unquote, supermodel. And she has to have her bullet with her because that's how she makes her shakes and that's how she stays thin. So staying thin is one thing. Being healthy metabolically is a totally different thing. Whether you're overweight or not, and you're having blended drinks and you're cutting the fiber out, you are doing damage to the gut biome. The healthy bacteria wants to eat that fiber and you just made it into a liquid. And I like to use the word bastardize it because that's how serious I feel blenders are. Is there anything else that would be a problem? The fact that this drink here is green, people think it's healthy for you. I did an entire webinar for you guys on Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs lived off of green drinks and it caused him cancer. And I'm not going to go into the cancer because that's the whole nother thing, but you guys can see. I think it was Steve Jobs diet versus Donald Trump. Let's go to another one. What is this here? Pineapple, maybe? Yes, there you go, pineapple. A lot of people think of pineapple as being super healthy. And not only is it high in sugar, Dole, the company, has hybridized it to be even sweeter. Why would they do that? Because the more sugar they know they can have in their fruit, the more likely you are to love it. And by the way, a lot of what we call health influencers all over the internet have pineapple every week. If they're having pineapple every week and bananas every week and then throw in strawberries, they're going to have type 2 diabetes. But guess what? The reason they don't have type 2 diabetes yet is because you're seeing them on the internet in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. Wait till they get to be like my brother. He didn't get type 2 diabetes until he was in his late 50s. And when it came out, what did the doctor say? Well, it's genetic. You're Hispanic. That's what happens to you Mexicans. No, he inherited the misinformation of the bodybuilding community that thought eating fruits was good for you. And then eating them in the form of a smoothie was even better. Here's what I have a problem with. This is Dr. Kellyanne here. 
She says, simple fat blasting hack that anyone can do. You guys know when you guys start this course, I give you a hack in the beginning, in week one, but I don't give it to you so you can continue to rely on hacks. Hacks are only so that when you come in, I give you something real quick and it's kind of like a pacifier for a baby. But eventually I want to take that pacifier away because you got to grow up. Okay. That's why I have a problem with this kind of simple one hack. I'm not even going to go to her holding on to the banana. Okay. We already know about that. And then when it comes to the rest of this, let's talk about what she has on the internet. This is a video that after I clicked on that Good Morning America thing, YouTube served me this up, which is her, what they call a video short on YouTube. I want to point out a few things that are important here. This is her again, Dr. Kellyanne. So limiting things doesn't sound like fun. Limiting things sounds like what? A diet. Torture. Tor oh, yeah. There you go. Torture. Benjamin. Absolutely right. Here's the next thing. The word diet. Okay. So she's saying things to limit on the bone broth diet. Just so you guys know, diet is a dirty word here because diets are not sustainable. Like Benjamin said, be tortured. But here, let's go on a step further. So I don't like the word limit, nor do I like the word bone broth diet. This is a comparison of her bone broth and its ingredients compared to the one that I recommend to you guys, which is called kettle and fire. And this is what I wanted to point out. What's that word there? Natural flavors. Natural flavors. If any of you have seen the documentary on natural flavors, that is a catch-all term for a lot of things you don't want to put in your body. The reason they're allowed to use it, I'm not going to get on my soapbox about it. You guys can watch just Google 60 minutes natural flavors and you'll see why that's a bad thing. Okay, the fact that Dr. Kellyanne has put that in her bone broth, I take issue with that. She should have left that out of there. I'm glad she put grass-fed bovine hydrolyzed collagen, which is grass-fed is good. But now the one that I recommend to you guys is by Kettle and Fire. What is this word right here? Organic. When you guys have anything that's going to be put into your body and it's going to be in a, what I consider a mega dose, because remember, she's telling you to go on her bone broth diet, which means she wants you to consume a lot of this on a regular basis. Well, if you're going to consume a lot, you better make sure that it's not going to contain contaminants, pesticides, or at least lower the amount of that. And organic doesn't mean it doesn't have any, but it has a heck of a lot less than Dr. Kellyanne's bone broth here that none of this is organic. The only thing she did was she got that grass fed plug in there. Let's go on to the bottom here. It says beef broth made with filtered water and grass fed beef bones. So the kettle and fire brand that I recommend goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with her on her only one redeeming quality. Now, price point. I got this off of Amazon. Can anyone tell me the price? $11.99. Yes, $11.99. And for the same amount, mm -hmm. look at what you're getting if you do Kettle and Fire. Do you see that Kettle and Fire on the far right at the bottom? $5.31 compared to 11 bucks. What do you guys think about that? It's half price, obviously. Exactly. Dr. Kellyanne's bone broth doesn't have organic. Dr. Kellyanne put natural flavors. Kettle and Fire used organic and didn't put natural flavors. And they're half the price. What I call Dr. Kellyanne is highway robbery. Plain and simple. That's how I see her. So here's what she's doing. She's funding her marketing ploy on Dr. Oz. Good morning, America. You name it. All those problems, um, problems. Oh, that, that was a Freudian slip. All of those programs that she was on, there was a reason why. She wants to make sure you buy her bone broth at double the cost when there are kettle and fire bone broth. This is why we have to educate the buyer in this format here so you're not sucked into what you see on ABC, NBC, and CBS. But now we add to that. Guess where the new genre is? 
all over YouTube. All of those influencers that are out there that are still under the age of 60 telling you what to purchase because they're making a kickback off of it. You guys understand? Let's say I'm on YouTube and I'm giving this course on YouTube. And then I say, oh, by the way, click my link below and you get a discount. Well, it's not a discount. If you click my link below, I make $2 off of it because they raised the price from $531 to $731. Do you guys see? You end up paying more money because I'm telling you to buy it. But I'm going to go one step further. And that is Dr. Kellyanne is telling you to do her bone broth diet where she's telling you to drink this instead of eating. I disagree with that. This kettle and fire bone broth, I want you to make a soup out of it. Because when you're cooking, you have to have broth. You might as well up level your broth to bone broth instead of what we call that tinted water, either yellow or brown, but if it's beef or chicken, and throw that in there with a lot of salt. That's not good. It's better off if you want to get, give yourself, and here's what's important for you guys to hear, what is bone broth good for? It is good to give you guys collagen. Instead of having vital proteins, you know, the blue tub that you see at Costco, the one that Jennifer Aniston is the spokesperson for, kettle and fire has collagen in it. But if you're going to make soup, hey, yeah, more collagen there from kettle and fire bone broth. That's a good way to go about it. And so what's collagen good for, guys? Your joints, your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments. Your skin, wrinkles, all of the, all of this is collagen, which is fibers that hold things together, okay? Now, this is where I'm going to get catty. I'll admit it. I look at her with this other host, because now she's on another program, peddling her bone broth damn diet. But here, I don't know if you guys know this, this lady here. She is on Good Morning America. She was an athlete. She used to play basketball a lot, and she's still very athletic. And she did suffer a diagnosis of cancer. She beat it. She came back. But take a look at the difference between these two women. Okay, here's what I did. I took Robin Roberts' arm at the widest area, and I'm measuring it compared to Dr. Kellyanne. Dr. Kellyanne has what I call, in the women's world, I call it fish arms. That's when you wave uh, goodbye and the bottom of your arm waves goodbye too. A fish arm, that means she's overweight. The fact that Dr. Kellyanne is shorter than Robin Roberts and has a thicker arm than Robin Roberts. And by the way, that thicker arm is not more muscular. It's just a fish arm. It's overweight. But I'm going to go a step further. Take a look at her. This is Dr. Kellyanne on her own thing. Do you guys see a waist on this woman? She looks pretty straight to me. I don't see her as having a waist at all. And somebody might say, well, if you guys follow the guy who does V-Shred, he goes endomorph, ectomorph. He puts everybody into body categories. He might say, well, Janina, it's not that she doesn't have a waist. It's that she is uh, what we call athletic body type. I call BS. This woman if she's selling me a bone broth diet, I would say, well, heck, it hasn't worked on you. Where's your waist? She doesn't have one. And what she's doing is when she goes on these shows, I know she's wearing a double set of Spanx, but you can't fool me. Granted, when she does go on these shows, a lot of women say, I'd love to have her body. Well, yeah, she looks great compared to a lot of women. But for someone who's selling a bone broth diet, why hasn't she gotten rid of the belly fat? Because I will tell you right now, this woman has a heck of a lot more belly fat than she should for someone who's supposed to know so much. So obviously it's not working for her. Hopefully you have gotten something out of this short snippet from one of my Thursday live Zooms that I do with my clients of men who are 50 and over who want to lose belly fat without having to diet or exercise so that they can reverse disease. If you're interested in talking to me about possibly getting help for that, Click the link below this video. It's my calendar. Get on there and we can talk about what's possible for you.